What he does realize. Welcome to my channel, Original Lady E Elements to Go LLC. We're gonna get it popping. We're gonna see what's going on with the fire signs for December 2021, going into January. So, so this will be. Let me see. We in what's this? We into. We're going to make this a Christmas reading all the way into January, first week of January, okay? So, fire signs. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Lilith, Jupiter. Well, where there are fire sign placements for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let's get it popping. So, Holy Spirit, what do we see for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for Christmas through... First week of January, 2022. December 25th, 2021 to January 7th, 2022. What do we got going here? Show me something good. Show me something good. Show me something sweet. Ow. No, 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 Darius. No, 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 notorious. All right, Aries and Sagittarius, what's going on? Holy Spirit, what do you see for Aries and Sagittarius? Christmas through to the first week of December 2022. Could be dealing with contracts, not necessarily a proposal of engagement to get married, but a contract nonetheless. I see proposal on the table for most of the fire signs out there. You could be moving, you could be getting a new job, or you could actually be getting proposed to. Let's see what's going on here. Ooh, some of you being intimate. So, there's a new lover on the board here. I see you keeping whatever you're doing a secret. See the black? Some of you could be getting intimate at nighttime. Some of you, I see some of you. Oh, right now, look now, here. Listen here. <laughs> I can't tell you what to do if I got free will, but who is doing it in the car? Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? Don't necessarily have to be this color either. You could be brown skin. You could be yellow. Whatever. But there's a lot of intimacy going on. Some of you can have a contract. It's like this, look. When I see these, it's like, okay, you know, we're going to meet up and this, this, that, and the third. Like, it's, uh, how can I explain this? Look at this. Some of you fires out fire signs blah 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 <laughs> some of you fire signs out there could with this proposal and this intimacy this i have a feeling that there's a proposition that was made for sex and sex only and it's at nighttime only it's like an exchange that's going on here all right others of you could be getting intimate with the boss of yours I see self-employment here. So whatever this contract is for business, there's a proposition made in order to get this contract. This person may ask you to have sex with them. So be mindful if this is not your cup of tea. Okay? And this person is very... Uh, how can I say? <clears throat> Whoever's making this proposition, male or female, towards you, collective fire sign. Aries Leo Sagittarius, just be mindful, okay, of someone with an agenda to come in. They, it could be like a, um, you want to start your own business again with that self-employment here, want to be your own boss, your own entrepreneur, and in order to get this banking contract or this um contract for your business, this person's proposition will be for you to be intimate with them. Be mindful. This is a karmic contract, a karmic partner here that's doing this. Like, if we do this, you know, I'm going to give you X, Y, Z for your business. What else we see for fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius? This person could be promising you that your business will be in the spotlight and it's false because we got fame reversed. It's a lie. It's only just for... Sex. 
what else we got for our fire signs Aries Leo Sagittarius so again be mindful I don't see most of y'all taking that risk risk in the reverse anyway regarding that proposal you're not gonna risk it people think fire signs are dumb as fuck like seriously excuse my language like no Fire signs, wherever you have fire sign placement, whether that's an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Little Jupiter, Mercury, it don't matter. If you got fire sign in your chart, people may think that you are stupid and that they are clever and you're and it's like you're not nowhere near stupid. You're very clever, okay? Some of you, we got family in the reverse. Someone doesn't want to risk leaving a family, but it looks like Someone, whoever is propositioning this proposal for sex for a business or wanting to have sex with you in order to help you or your business out because you want to become an entrepreneur, that person is a karmic partner. They're not to be trusted. I don't see you taking a risk. This person has a family and they leave their family at night just to do what it is they don't. So to me, you're not the first one. I'm seeing that you getting clarity with the crystals here. You already know how this person is. Okay. Some of you, you're better off doing this business and figuring out the ins and outs of it without someone's help. If you have fire anywhere in your chart, you know what I'm saying? You know, we got rich women here. Some of you are spiritually wealthy to begin with. You need to learn how to... How can I put this? Because with the rich women here, some of you are spiritually wealthy. You're spiritually rich already. Even though it doesn't show in the 3D... Okay, it is there in the 5D. Could have been like a pharaoh, Pharisees, or empress, emperor, whatever the case may be. Because I'm reading for male, female, transgender, LGBTQ. This is your reading. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? Don't let someone proposition you for sex, telling you that they're going to help you out with your business when that is not the fucking case. They just only want to fuck you, okay? This person... And I'm sure you see through it too, okay? This person doesn't want to risk losing their family. They may come up to you as if they don't have a family, as if they're single, but they're not. There's a family here. There's a whole fucking family here. This person's got two kids. Uh, it's going to become crystal clear to you when you see it. We have rich woman here. Wealthy. Spiritually wealthy. Hold on to your coins, what I heard Spirit say. Hold on to your coins. You're spiritually wealthy. You're going to come to a decision with crossroads and reverse on what to do with this matter, with this situation, with this individual. Okay. Come up with a proposition. You ain't going to risk it. You, I see some of you not risking this intimacy. You're not doing it. Because mm -mm. you're aware you're going to lose your family. Some of you are already in a relationship as well and you're trying to be your own boss. And then there's this person that's in a relationship and they have a whole family. And this is a hot mess that you, I don't see you getting involved in. All right. You already know what to do with your business. Okay. You already see this person as a karmic partner. This person has blonde hair, karmic partner, rich woman. There's two individuals here. All right. You're dealing with a karmic partner. Definitely karmic partners. They have blonde hair or they have black hair or they have dark brown hair. Either way, this person is not in the spotlight. This person probably was trying to put you at a crossroads at a loop, but you already seen through this. Crystals and crossroads reversed. This person could have been a, someone trying to scam you out of what you're coming into or what you're about to get or what you already have. <laughs> Use your discernment when it comes to people, places, and things. Tell the universe you don't want that karma contract and you'll be released from it. But say to yourself, you don't want that karmic contract and you will be released from it. Let the universe know you don't want that lesson. You can get to receive that lesson in another form, but not like that. It's like selling your ass to get your business off the ground. That's almost like like when you go to Hollywood and you got to sit in the director's cut in order to get a part on a movie or some shit. No, we're not doing that. What do we see for the fire signs? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, North, Lilith, Jupiter, anywhere there are fire, fire placements. What else do we see for December 25th to January 7th, 2022? Oh, 
got a witch in a mist that's fucked to me. She's she's um pissed off. Got the coffee, got the sun, got the witch in a mist. Oh, yeah. Um, one second. Got the coffee, got the sun, got the witch in a mist. Oh, one second. 1014 on the clock. What's going on, Aries Leo Sagittarius, for December to the first week of January 2022? What should they know, Holy Spirit? What should they know? Page of Pentacles. You're going to have some information coming in with regard to some money that's coming to you. It could be a small check coming in. But there's money nonetheless coming to you. Tower. Got the tower moment. Something. Yeah, you're going to get a revelation that there's some money coming to you. Definitely. It's going to rock the very foundation of whoever's jealous of you. Spirit wanted me to tell you that one. Eight of coins reversed. What's the eight of coins reversed? What what is the collective fire signs not wanting to work on? Or not wanting something to work? Knight of coins reversed. Stagnation. It's like whoever was trying to slow up your money, it came undone. And now you're gonna get a revelation that there's some money owed to you coming to you or that is due you someone was in the background trying to stop it but i see them stop they stopped working on it they were trying to slow it up with that knight of coins reverse it's no longer working all they work came undone if you look at this tower card right here you see that the heavens struck that thor shango whatever you want to call it we moved all those blocks and obstacles to your money collected Chariot reversed, not not seeing, not knowing what to do, not knowing what direction to take, trying to cause stagnation in your money. Again, this person is no longer, whoever this person is to you, is no longer working on your money. You may not even know this person. It could have been someone you knew or ex of yours or a sibling of yours, sibling rivalry of yours, a family member of yours, whomever. Could have paid someone to try to stop, block, hinder, or delay your finances. That shit came to an end. A complete halt with the eight of coins reversed with the tower. Complete ending. And now you're about to receive some news. You're getting some money. Someone was trying to halt your money coming to you. What do we see for Aries Leo Sagittarius? What do we see for Aries Leo Sagittarius Holy Spirit? We got two cards out. For reals, for reals. Okay. We got the four of cups. Yeah. Whoever's well, trying to stop your shit ain't no love whatsoever. Look at that. They try to manifest this. Got the magician. Could have been dealing with a uh, freaking Aries. Some of y'all manifesting what you want out of life. Okay. Some of y'all knew or know what's currently going on with your finances and you're bringing the tower down on that sucker okay what's going on Aries Leo Sagittarius a message someone must accept that the tower has fallen and it's whoever this magician is to y'all so I see the magician stop their work because they're receiving some information here that's being revealed to them that you're still getting your money. Regardless, you're still getting your money regardless. Aries Leo Sagittarius. And now because you're receiving your finances, and yes, it's a small check, but so fucking what? It's a small check, you're still getting your money. But I see this magician, this manifest, just this manifestation is complete halt. It sucked. Okay, yeah. Aries Leo Sagittarius, what the fuck did I tell you? This is a Leo. That was manifesting this. A Leo. Doesn't have to be a male Leo. But it's someone that embodies Leo energy. That fire energy. Trying to manifest. But now they're not sure what to do. Because now they have no money. Their money is stopped, blocked, hindered, and delayed. <laughs> That's why they stopped working on it. Leo. What I say? Strength card. Strength card. I kid you not. This is a Leo. That was halting your money. Strong Leo. They got Leo in their chart. They not a Leo son. They got Leo in their chart. Rising Leo. With that magician here. And King of Wands. 
They have Moon in Leo. Mm hmm. King Cups, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here. You see my daughter walking around. Stay in here. Don't come back here no more. This person uses their emotions in order to manifest because with the King of Cups, right? That's the one that's holding the, I don't know if you can see that. The King of Cups is holding a cup or chalice near the heart, holding the emotions in. The strength card is also someone that holds back, holding the emotions in. And then we have the King of Wands, someone that's completely in control. So this person is completely in control of their emotions when it comes to manifesting they also could be manifesting with a cancer it could be leo with a cancer that's manifesting or this could be one person that's doing this that knows how to hone in on their emotions and direct that energy directly for whatever purpose they're trying to manifest okay what is this page of pentacles in this tower yeah someone got news tower bell some someone got news that was revealed that their work is not working to delay someone's um, progress when it comes to their finances. Now they're not sure of what to do. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So with the Page of Pentacles and the Tower, we got the what? What do you see there? Knight of Cups. Page of Pentacles and the Tower. Clarified by the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Swords. So someone's coming in as night energy. This whoever this was was being reckless, rushing in, emotionally rushing in, concerning a, an offer. So with this page of Pentacles in this tower, something got revealed about this person that came in with this offer, right? But I see it didn't work. What is this tower and this eight of coins reversed? What didn't work for the uh, fire sign collective? I saw you. You're trying to hide. It's like someone's trying to hide what they were doing. Judging by this card. Nine of wands here. Okay. Someone's watching online and being guarded while they're watching. Could be making fake profiles as well. Coming up with offers of fake ass love. And you, some of you know who this is making these fake ass profiles. It's not working. It's blocked. Some of you are blocking these fake profiles here. You may have gotten offers from someone that claimed to be they want to be your sugar daddy. That was this person. Okay. Being very reckless. And I see that you blocked this individual. What is eight of coins reversed and the knight of coins reversed? Eight of coins reverse, knight of coins reverse for the fire sign collective, Aries Leo Sagittarius. December 25th, January 7th, 2022. What do we see? What do we have here, Holy Spirit? Eight of coins reverse, knight of coins reverse. This is money in the reverse, but it looks like whereas someone was working on your money, they're not anymore. Some of you could have also lost a job and you got your last paycheck as well. That's what I also see here. Some of you dealing with Scorpio. Someone was hiding, but someone's trying to see who this. Someone is trying. Someone is trying to see, or either will see, who the, who this person really is, because someone's hiding behind a curtain, a mask, whatever. It's this person here. Someone's on the outside, and they will soon be looking in. This person is a chameleon. They're not going to show you who they really are, who they truly are. They're going to hide it, but there's someone that's using their intuition that's going to see this person for who they are. Eight of coins reversed, nine of coins reversed. Again, the work is no longer working. Could have been a Scorpio that was working with this Leo on this. Water energy across the board. What could have been a Scorpio that spotted this person and with that nine of wands blocked this person? That's why they work not working. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What is this Knight of Coins reverse? With the chariot reverse. Knight of Coins is delays in progress, right? And the chariot is a uh, lack of direction, focus, 
not moving forward with a certain situation. So someone's walking away. Eight of Cups. We got a lot of water energy, y'all. For you fire signs. We have a lot of fucking water energy here. Okay. With these delays in progress and someone trying to cause delays to your finances. Making it where you don't know what to do with yourself because you're not getting any money. Again, with that work not working. I see them walking away. It's not working. There's an ending to them trying to block your finance. Someone was being very reckless when they're trying to do this magic to manifest blocks in your finances. And now it's not working. So they're not sure what to do. Again, I say, others of you, okay, you're receiving your last paycheck because something was revealed to you or it's a shock to you that your boss came up to you and say there's no more work for you. So now you're not sure what to do. Well, you're not sure what to do? Find another job, honey. Go on the unemployment line or, or, or research, Google other jobs. It doesn't have to be the job in your field, okay? If you have experience in other fields, use your other experiences that you have. And if you don't have that experience, then go get some training. If you have the time to go get some training and then work part-time anywhere, anywhere. There's a lot of jobs that's open. Um, What else? This Knight of Cups and this Page of Pentacles, definitely there is some information coming in. But again, these are only just nights. Nights are, everybody know, nights are in and out. Someone's rec recklessly offering love and money. Whatever this individual is trying to manifest, it's not working. So if they're trying to offer love and money somewhere else to someone young, a younger earth sign, a younger Taurus, or a younger Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, there's soon to be a tower moment with that individual. Something reckless is going to happen. Or there's some news about this, this person that's going to come in. That this person is going to get completely blocked. Now, I'm, I'm not sure if this news is going to be online, found online with this individual or what. But whatever it is, it's being manifested. And then this younger person will not want to work with that other person. Or it could be you not wanting to work with whoever this is that may be younger than you. Someone was trying to have control or this Leo Aries Sag was trying to have control over these delayed progresses. But I see them holding back because they're not sure right now. So everything is being held in emotionally, not financially. You're still getting money. But there's uncertainty that's here. I see uncertainty here. Yeah, Aries. There you go. Aries, I see you. I see you, boo. <laughs> there's an Aries that's waiting for their ships to come in. Okay, Aries, you waiting? What you waiting on? Ooh, leaving shit behind. Five Pentacles want to come out. Matter of fact, let's pull you out. You're going to be successful. This successful opportunity is coming once you leave everything behind. Someone's getting left out in the cold, too. And they're going to be left at a distance while you travel at a distance. That's what I see here. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. do, 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 do. So what do we see for the fire signs? I did a poll. The poll was answered. Who you want me to see do? Fire, earth, air, water. And a lot of fire signs. Or whoever clicked on the poll. Got, got a couple of votes in. That's pretty good. Either way. Let's see what else is going on. Got the Father, got the Son, and got the Holy Spirit. Amen. What, what do you see for fire signs? December 25th, January 7, 2022. I saw you. My cards be like, we hiding. Here we go. Ooh, who, the, who this Aquarius? We got the Queen of Swords. Doesn't have to be an Aquarius. It could be you standing in your truth, standing in your power. Lots of communication coming through. Um... Using that intuition as the high priestess Piscean energy as well. 
We also have Gemini energy with the lovers. There's a choice that needs to be made. There's a lot of communication coming in that a choice will have will have to be had or have to be made. Choice between two Queen of Wands in reverse. Someone's uh, angry, bitter, mad, bitter bitch, bitter bum. Queen of Wands could be male, or female. We got King of Swords on the board, Gemini energy. You got Gemini twice here. Okay, so some of you could have been dealing with a Gemini, Aquarius, Leo, Pisces, right? There's some information that's coming in that may have been hidden at one point in time regarding someone who had to make a choice. Someone chose to be a witch or either this Gemini is a witch. King of Swords, Queen of Wands reversed. With this lover's card, this let me shut up. <laughs> what I'm seeing here is that there is now they'll say Gemini Libra Aquarius. So I'll keep it T I real with y'all. Y'all know how I do on my channel. Whatever cards come out, it's whatever cards that the spirit wants you to read. I see a Gemini across the board along with a fucking Aquarius, right? This Aquarius has a lot of intuition in regards to a decision that was made. Regarding this warlock, this witch, right? They're also communicating with this individual. Now, they may have in the recent past, or they're about to communicate with this individual, or this individual may communicate with them about some sort of decision concerning a lover. What else do we see for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius? If I close out this reading. They were dealing with a freaking uh, Queen of Cups. Someone's very emotional. So it could be the King of Swords here. King of Swords. This warlock has a lot of love. So who? Who this person got love? Who does the King of Swords got love for? Oh, there's some sort of choice he needs to make. There's judgment. There's judgment here. There's judgment. He made a foolish decision. He knows that ain't going nowhere for whatever choice that he made concerning a lover or a choice between two. So I see the Gemini talking to Aquarius about him making the wrong decision to be with this Pisces, this Queen of Cups. A very overly emotional person, but they know how to control their emotions. But this Queen of Cups, this person's intuitive as well. This person's also making a judgment call and realizing that they made the wrong call to be with this Gemini or this. Gemini Libra Aquarius. It may not resonate with everybody. If it resonates, hit that thumbs up like button, bell notification, be notified of upcoming content on the channel. If it doesn't resonate, there's other videos on the channel that you can check out. Yeah, so we got here a page of coins. Reverse. There's some information being withheld regarding money. No, I saw that. Someone's being very patient here, trying to put the pieces of the puzzle back together with what's going on. With, uh, and while they do this to try to strike a balance between whatever the situation is, they're withholding information concerning money, right? Definitely someone doesn't want to be foolish in a situation no more, so I see them making a judgment call. It's this Pisces making a judgment call, or it could be this Gemini Libra Aquarius making this judgment call. Concerning this witch that they chose as a lover, this witch who's also a high priestess, who's also a Gemini. This person is very cold hearted. They're both cold hearted. The King of Queen Swords is on the board, so this is a couple. This is a couple. But the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, feminine energy is a bitch. This is the witch. They're both witches. Unbelievable. <laughs> Both couples on the board, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, these airheads here, these air signs, excuse me if I offend anybody, but it is what it is. They both have intuition, but one has intuition that they use in a bad way, and that's the, yeah. the masculine energy here. He's bad. He's bad as fuck. Okay. Someone's completely disappointed. Because their spells got broken. Secrets came out. Shit got exposed. Ace of Wands here. 
Mm-hmm. There was an opportunity for this shit to get exposed. Now they're not happy at the house. Ten of Cups. So some sort of communication about information being withheld, right? From a high priestess. Someone's patiently trying to puzzle, piece the puzzles of this this madness together with regarding a choice that needs to be made. And while they're trying to make this choice, it's like someone's sitting back and honing in on their intuition on what's not being said. And they're putting the pieces together with that. Now, this witch's spell work came undone from this Gemini guy. This person was working candle magic on this individual as well as doing jar spells and water magic, okay? Hydromancy, but hiding the fact that they're doing it because they're unhappy that this Gemini person, this male king of swords, masculine energy has already made his judgment that this is not the right person that they want to be with. This person wants to move on and that queen of cups energy, the cancerian energy is not happy with it and that king of swords is no longer stuck in the head with that being said this is your reading